His eyes got big. <laughs> Usually that tongue come about right here. Now it's way out. <laughs> he broke. Just one subscribe button away, and you'll have access to a plethora of all of the awesome content we've put out on our channel today and beyond. What's up, guys, and welcome back to our channel. There are stadiums full of fans who cheer for their favorites. Waves of ecstatic as they see them play with such mesmerizing brilliance that leaves one awestruck. However, along the thrilling moments of the National Basketball Association, which is an American professional basketball league for men, there have been scenarios that have also become the memoirs among those that hold true meaning, albeit their disastrous consequences. So let's delve right into the most awkward moments in NBA history. Number 5. Horseplay of Gloria Chains Families can love you for a second and bring you down not moments later, and many would relate to this no matter where they're from. Likewise, so will LeBron James. Life was often very tough for LeBron and his mother since the start. Gloria battled personal problems when he was a kid. Some of those were brought on by the death of her mother, who passed away when LeBron was an infant. Bouncing between retail and accounting jobs, Gloria was never able to land steady work, and she and LeBron moved from one apartment to the other. The mother never let LeBron slip away into the scum-like environment derived by poverty and the slum they lived in, infatuated with criminal activities. So after acknowledging this, it doesn't come as a surprise that she became quite violent and goes after the Celtics after LeBron is fouled by Pierce. LeBron tells her to sit down in an aggressive tone during the Game 4 of the Cavaliers Celtic series back in 2008. It wasn't the first or last time she's been the subject in the headlines. Her shenanigans and shielding her son perpetually stains the name of her child somehow because his fans are scrambling right before his eyes. Number 4. Eddie Griffin's Outraging Behavior If Eddie was a bit keen on keeping his mouth shut, he would have recovered his muddy reputation after this incident, from the wary eyes of the press and the horde of his fans. In 2006, Eddie Griffin was driving his car with no control of his brain or body because he was overdosed with alcohol and blatantly told the media afterwards how he was being obscene as he was driving the car. Worse, he wasn't even properly adorned with a clothing attire, which made the muddled situation even more tangled. The utmost disrespect he showcased for the NBA's policy that states a no-substance-use rule quite clearly. He was suspended for this right after. Players are supposed to regard the transgression they may be indulging themselves into and withdraw from it because a professional has to remember what their action may cost. Not months later, he passed away after crashing his car in a parking lot. No skid marks or signs of uncontrolled driving. His family and friends are, to this day, clueless what got him out of the track. But the case didn't prove any signs of illegal substances he might have taken. In the end, Eddie, who was a spectacular player in his time, was more known for his meaningless gag and involvement in inappropriate stuff than he was known for his awesome career. Number 3. Lakers Suffer a Grim Defeat it might be hilarious for us because of the amusing and yet very effective tactic pulled by the Fort Wayne Pistons, but the Minneapolis Lakers, who were at that time the best in the league back in the 1950-51 season. They had legends like George Mikan, Jim Pollard, and Vern Mickelson up front, the dynamic trio that was known to unleash their inner beasts on the court, squashing the opponent as they wove their way through the defenses seamlessly but the best stand at the topmost tower and the fall from there hit harder than any other. This was the case with the Lakers. Before the match, the Pistons coach Murray Mendenhall told the public promises for a tussle, seeing it hard to bring down the best. The probability of the Lakers taking away the game was supposedly very high since their confidence and aggression layered their performance, making it manifolds better than our Pistons, who were quite nervous to face them. Nevertheless, the Pistons were amazing to take possession every five minutes without intending to score, thereby giving fewer chances to the Golden Trio to basket. This was nothing out of the ordinary, 
but the fact that they did that to take away the game by one point proved their method worked. They won by 1918 in the lead. This would be reminisced by many of the Piston fans. On the other hand, not so much for the Lakers and their fanatics, something to live by if they want to turn bitter instead of learning from their mistakes. Number 2. Magic Johnson's Sudden Retirement it takes a lot of courage and a strong gut to face the wrath of fans and their abandonment issues after you tell them that you won't be on their TV screen to play for them, your former team, and the entire state. There, the damage was done that can't be fixed, either slightly compromised because fame is directly proportional to their value, their potential, an individual has, and their position on the long list of competitors. Rumors began to scatter with the title of Magic Johnson accepting retirement circulated around the NBA community and many were curious as to why such a successful and youthful person escapes the front seats of superstardom where many envy to journey and reach. Therefore, Magic Johnson came forward and told everybody in his shameful confession. He's acquired a particularly disgraceful disease from one of the many ladies he was in relationships with. The fact that he was upfront with it signified that he wasn't at all guilty. It's sad to leave his job in this absurd fashion. His confession is a mark for every NBA player to follow the disciplinary regulations enforced on them, something of a stardom much with this act and an indication for others to know their boundaries and remain within the confines of. It's not like they taunt magic for his disease, no. It is what caused it and his misbehavior which is pointed out. Number 1. Don't throw garbage at Ron Fans can cross limits sometimes, whether they're in concerts, a British pub with drunken fellas, or a stadium jam-packed with NBA lovers. Ron legally changed his name in 2011, naming himself Meta World Peace, which his fans called him, and later on, Meta Santa Fort Artists. He is known as a Lakers legacy, but what happened 16 years ago almost ruined his career. The Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons engaged in a brutal fight on November 19, 2004, late in their NBA game at the Palace in Auburn Hills, Michigan. The fight split into the stands after a spectator threw a drink at Meta World Peace, still known then as Ron Artest, and the incident came to be known as the Malice at the Palace. He has fought many times, his temper shooting out all the scents on the court, and this would have lost him his job. The Piston fan who threw the Diet Coke can be wrong to do so, but taking into consideration that there were several cameras and eyewitnesses with children in the stands too, you should just let it go. The conflict broke out in the bleachers, but it took away a big chunk of Meta's passion too. The punishment was swift and severe as the NBA suspended nine players. Our test was hit the hardest, losing the final 73 games of the regular season and the Pacers' 13 playoff contest. It hit him in the wallet to the tune of $5 million. What are your thoughts about these awkward moments in NBA history? Let us know them in the comments below while also remembering to like and share this video with your friends and family and subscribing to our channel to be notified of more awesome content now and the future. Catch you in the next video guys. Bye now.